Rashad reporting for Millennium TV 24 from the Bronx Democratic headquarters for rallying for Harris for president. And very soon, the elected officials will be here. Governor Hope is expected, along with uh, the chairman of the Bronx County Democratic Party, Senator Jamal Bailey. And we're here to cover it, and as soon as they come, we will report live from the Bronx Democratic headquarters. This is Carl Machan from Millennium TV, Bronx, New York. From the Bronx Democratic headquarters at the closing session of this rally for Harris Ward's president and vice president. And with that, we say goodbye. Thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedules yes. to be here today. Um, this is an important moment, it's a historical moment, and the only way we're going to get over the finish line is by putting in the work. And we are planning some exciting events. We're planning some exciting events in the next few weeks, which I will keep you all abreast of. And talk to people about this election. Get informed about why it's so important. That person who's undecided, make sure you have those difficult conversations and make sure that everyone around you is registered to vote. On September 17 is National Voter Registration Day. Mm -hmm. So we are working on a go to make sure we have at least two people registered that day. Everybody should make them their own goal. Pick two people that you think they may not be registered. You can do it easily online. It takes less than five minutes. Right. And we can all need to do our part and make sure that what happened a few years ago doesn't happen again. And we elect our first woman president. Yeah. Now, I'm going to keep it short, and I'm going to hand it over to a much better speaker than I, our chairman, Jamal T. Bailey. Yeah. Yeah, inaccurate, but that's inaccurate. <laughs> As you just heard, she is very articulate in terms of talking about what we need to do. And that phrase, undecided, I want you to, I want that to stick in your mind just for a second. But I want to have a little bit of housekeeping for a second. Um, you know, I, there, there's been a running joke of sorts. This is nothing election related. But running joke of sorts. When I see random people in the streets, I will tell them that Ari passed the bar. Yeah. And it's true, Ariana Collado has passed the bar. <laughs> Step further. Tomorrow, tomorrow, she's not Aria, Ariana Collado, executive director of the Bronx Democratic Party. She's Ariana Collado, Esquire. Oh. So please, give Ariana a round of applause. It's a, it's, a, it's a big day for the Collado household, as Jovan is also being sworn in. We, we have to, but we have to remember to, to celebrate those around us. We have to remember to communicate to those around us. And right now we have about 60 days. It's the first day of the NFL season. And in NFL games, there are approximately 60 minutes. So right now we're in the proverbial first quarter of the game. We're still able to register. We're still able to get our plays set, figure out What's the best offense? What's the best defense? 15 more days, we gotta start the real playbook. But we can't take a halftime break. There's no halftime break to fight against Project 2025. There's no halftime break to fight against another stacked Supreme Court. There's no halftime break when you have number 34. Number 34 is usually great when it comes to Natalia Fernandez's district, but when it comes to the when it comes to 34 felonies, that wow. the um, former crook in chief has, <laughs> we can't have that come back. They talk about law and order. Why wouldn't you want a uh, former prosecutor who was one of the first to set alternatives to incarceration in San Francisco, who became an attorney general who did more about alternatives to incarceration, who was a U.S. senator? See, people keep forgetting that she did all of those things. Mm. And that's how society treats women. For better or for worse, it's worse. They forget all of the accomplishments and they look at the title, Vice President, next to Biden. 
excuse my language, she busted her ass to get where she is. Yeah. And speaking of someone who has busted her proverbial tail to get where she is, <laughs> we're looking to make history in um, the country, but we've made it in New York State. In New York State, number 57 is not just Heinz ketchup. <laughs> I don't like ketchup, but I like our governor. Because she's, been, she's not been a stranger to the Bronx, but other people have. Since she was a lieutenant governor, she has consistently invested not just in political speeches and ribbon cuttings, but in the people and in the fabric of the Bronx. So it's important that you know that she's been here more times than you can count. That she's been to the borough when it wasn't popular to be in the borough. And she will continue to stand by the side of the greatest county. I gotta say that. <laughs> Sorry, my congressman to be George Latimer's But the greatest county, greatest borough, greatest borough. Thank you. See, look at that. That's unity. But there's no question about how great our governor is. The 57th governor of the great state of New York, our governor, Kathy Hochul. person I saw when, he, when, when I got here, he was outside. <laughs> he's gone from the Assembly to the New York State Senate where he's been a champion and an ally for working families. Someone who has helped to diversify our court system, making sure that it more accurately reflects our great state than it has previously. New York State Senator Louis Sepulveda. Yeah. 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 Are we fired up? Yeah. Are we fired up? Yeah. You know, it's interesting, on my way here, I did a uh, uh, an interview with the press and the topic of discussion was the governor's $10 billion allotment to a central plan here to increase the number of people that can benefit from the public health care system that we have. This is one of the poorest counties in the world. Now those monies came from the Inflation Reduction Act and guess who worked on that Inflation Reduction Act? Our Vice President Kamala Harris. When you see what the other side wants. Rather than increasing the number of people that can get health care, they want to completely destroy it. When you see our vice president who wants to make sure that women protect their own bodies, on the other side you see men who want to control the woman's body. When you see on the other side that they want a, an oath that you're gonna kiss President Trump's ass if you win this, in order to keep your federal job, that's what you're getting. When you see someone who wants to treat immigrants as if they're all criminals and rapists, when in fact it's criminals that have built this country. It's, I'm sorry, it's immigrants that have built this country. <laughs> They want to blame everything that's wrong in this country on our immigrants when they should value the work that they've done. That's right. That's what you have on the other side. We have to make sure that we don't go backwards. And that's what the other side represents. Going back to the, one of the darkest eras of this country. Going back to something that's similar to what they had in Nazi Germany. We have to make sure that each and every one of us go out even beyond your districts, even beyond the state of New York, we have to make sure that we elect Vice President Harris as a new president. I'm 60 years old right now. Okay. This young lady here is 98 years old. And she told me we discuss it, and I said, I don't want to live for the next four years under the presidency of a tyrant and a person who hates communities of color. I don't want my children to live the next four years with a person who treats humanity the way he does and is a compulsive liar. We have to make sure that we do all our parts so the next day after the election, we don't have to regret anything that we didn't do. So please go out there, work as hard as you can, and make sure that we elect Vice President Harris is a new leader of this country. Thank yeah. you. Friends here. Uh, this feels like the energy 
from the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Yeah. 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 We packaged it up and brought it right here to the Bronx for one reason, and that is to make sure that Kamala Harris yes. is elected the first woman president of the United States of America. Yeah. understands how what it takes to win elections and I have a couple messages from my friends right here in the Bronx. We have a major major fight on our hands. We cannot get complacent. Our biggest enemy is complacency when people start thinking well this is New York she's going to be fine right she, she will win in New York State I'm gonna go out on the limb right now and say that. <laughs> that is my prediction and it will happen. But you know what else President Harris will need? She'll need a Democratic House representatives to be her allies. Yeah. To get to yeah. Yeah. So she's counting on us here in the state of New York to deliver her, deliver her a Democratic House representative, and in the meantime, making our own Hakeem Jeffries from New York the next speaker of the. Yeah. Yeah. We fight for both. We fight for both at the same time. Knocking on the doors. You have literature for both. Knocking on doors. We're spreading evil, not just here in the Bronx. It's very important. But you can find your way up to Westchester, right? Yep. You can find yeah. your way over to Nassau. You can find your way up to Orange County. <laughs> because it's so important as far as that she has George Latimer at her side. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We can deliver that to the Bronx. To Westchester, we'll send Mondaire Jones to Northern Westchester as well, and many of our other allies all the way up to Hudson Valley. We can do this. I feel so good about this. You know why? Because we have transformed the New York State Democratic Party into the powerhouse it always should have been. I've been elected official for 30 years. I never got help from the state party when I was running for town board. I didn't get help when I was running for county office. I didn't get help when I was running for Congress. And I said, if I ever get a chance, to be in a position to use that power and bring it right down where it matters, the grassroots organizations, helping fund our local operations all over the state, that I will do it, and that's exactly what we've done. Yeah. Yeah. We have built this organization, the infrastructure, starting last year, knowing that 2024 was going to be so important for us. We have over 35 field offices all over our battleground area. We've hired over 100 people. We have 800,000 voter contacts. We have thousands of people out there on the streets. And I need all of you to help this effort. George Latterman needs to win, but not just win, but he has to crush it. He's going to make sure that he's victorious. In his district, we have to make sure that Kamala Harris and Tim Walls are elected with high margins. Let's spread out that love. Let's spread out that effort. I need you to go everywhere and make phone calls and do the voter contact and do everything you can because the rest of the country is counting on us. They truly are. They truly are. We have to save democracy. And we do it in places like this with people in this room and the energy that you bring. So you have great leaders. These elected leaders here, they're my friends, they're my, my allies in Albany. We'll make sure they all get back so I can continue to work closely with them. And I, I, such respect for every one of them. And we'll get it done. Consider it done. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Imagine right now if you even need a second more of motivation, how good you're going to feel on election night this year. Yeah. <laughs> we have Kamala Harris and Tim Walls going right to the White House. Yep. We have George Latimer going right to the House of Representatives. That's we have right. our friends in the legislature going right back to the Albany legislature, the Senate, and the Assembly. Mm -hmm. And I will know this. It didn't happen because we wanted to. We worked hard, we fought for it, we earned it, and you are part of that army. Are you with me, my friends? Yeah. Yeah. The greatest borough in the city of New York yes. is... Yes. The
right, I can say that because I come from the, sorry, Governor, the greatest county outside of New York City, Westchester County. Now, Westchester is your kid brother. You guys are bigger than us, although we're pretty big. We're the biggest Democratic county outside of New York City. But you gave us Jamal Bailey as a state senator for the city of Mount Vernon. You gave us Natalia Fernandez as a senator for Pelham and Park. You gave us Carl Hasty to lead the New York State Assembly. Yeah. We gave you Andrea Stewart Cousins to lead the New York State yeah. Senate. So we're linked. We are linked. And if the Bronx does what it's going to do, and Westchester does what it's going to do, Yay. then Kamala Harris is going to do great in this state, and that's going to lead to doing great in Connecticut and New Jersey and Delaware and all and those other states that we're listening to. Yeah. So our job is to be in the weeds. We're going to be at train yeah. stations together, subway stations together, senior citizen stations together, roll up the sleeves, work alongside the leadership of this man under the leadership of this woman, and we are going to win. There are a lot of your representatives that want you to hear their vision. They want you to hear what they have to say, and they want you to be energized. And in no Governor, do you think that the police commissioner should resign uh, over the uh, Green Department investigation at the NYPD right now? I would say this. I have strong confidence in the ability of NYPD to function. The men and forces are out there on the streets. Uh, as you can see here in the Bronx County Democratic Party, there's a lot of support going on. Right, right. So therefore, this is Garth Machan. Millennium Tea Party. Yeah, Garth Machan. 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 Garth Mach